Hello my gorgeous peeps, how are you all going today? Janine here again guys, rocking it out for my amazing and totally gorgeous over 40s and for anyone else who is willing to watch. How are you guys going? Love my background. <laughs> I hope you love my background. I wanted to focus more on the makeup instead of what was in my background. So that is what I am trying to achieve here. Today, today, today guys, I want to do a very casual, casual, nice, gorgeous look for you all. Um, I am in love with Laura Geller's products lately and I have got a few of her things in. If anyone knows Laura Geller, she is amazing. She's a um, makeup artist from New York. Mature woman, a woman of a particular age she calls herself. I've been watching her videos. But she does a really great makeup brand. And I'm sure everyone knows about Laura Geller, guys. I do not need to tell you about her. She is fantastic. I've been watching her video. She is so cool. I mean, I think she is just hilarious. She's so down to earth, you know, everything like that. So I thought I would try some of her beautiful products out, guys, because she does really... Uh, focus more towards us mature women, women over 40, over 50, you know, over 60, everything like that. But um, anyone can wear these products. So the first one I've got guys is the Baked Original Highlighter Duo and it's this one here. It's the French Poodle French Almond one. There's two different colours here. So let's give that a go. I've heard that her highlighters are very, very subtle. Um, Excuse me on that actually. I will show you. I am in love with Laura Geller's beautiful Gilded Honey Highlighter. I'll show you some of the other products I've got too. This is so tiny. It's so cute. So this is the Gilded Honey Highlighter guys and it is stunning. It's beautiful. I have to tell you that. Look at that guys. It's just absolutely beautiful. So creamy. It's one of my favourite highlighters at the moment. Oh, it's beautiful. These are called the Baked Gelato Swirl ones guys. And I also got this one here in Ballerina. It's more lighter than Gilded Honey but it's absolutely gorgeous too. See it's a bigger size which is really really weird. Don't ask me why. I also got her other one. We're not going to try them all today guys, I'm just showing you what I got um, in the Baked Gelato Swirl. It's a Diamond Dust which is really really beautiful as well. If you can see it there guys, it's whitey with a pinky kind of shift in it. And it's not too light for my skin either which is really really great. The last one I got is Charming Pink which is obviously a more pinky one. And it's this one here, it's more pinky. It's really really nice really shiny and everything I just love these gelato swirl highlighters guys they are the bomb now today I want to do a very very casual casual look today it's the weekend so I'm going to do a very very nice simple look for going out nothing much guys using some Laura Gala products I also have her baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation here and I got the shade medium guys and it looks really Really, really good I have had a swatch of it and it's really it is actually very coveraging so we're going to use that today as our foundation okay I, I'm not into powder foundations but I've been watching a lot of people using this stuff and I like the look of it I got another highlighter it's one of those subtle ones it's a baked one baked original highlighter which is in French kiss very subtle guys these ones here are barely visible on the skin, which is what a lot of people like. I unfortunately am into my glow, but I did want to try these, so let's test that out. I've got a lippy from Laura Geller that we're going to use today as well, and I also have her palette because I, I wanted to buy a Laura Geller palette, but I don't like those round ones because they're too deep in the pan and I've seen them being used and they just you know I shouldn't really be judging <laughs> but I just I like a palette I don't like the round marbled ones that are stuck down in the pan and you have to get your brush in there and kind of really get in there so I bought this one here it's called the casual collection which looks really really nice very rosy and nudie looks good for you know everyday look that's it there. We're going to test that one out today. I'm just going to do a very casual look. It'll be a nice look. Oh, oh, oh. Also, if I'm not going to use her lippy today, which I might not do, I have got my hands on that Clinique Blimmin' Viral one, uh, Black Honey. So, 
It looks very, very, very nice. I haven't tried this yet. I mean, I want to know what all the rave is about this, so we will try that out. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. A very nice, easy, casual, daytime look with Laura Geller's products. Hold it up. Hello friends and back. Okay, so we're going to do a beautiful, casual, gorgeous look with Laura Geller's products today. I'm going to use as much of her products as I can. I did buy her beautiful, beautiful blushes and I cannot find them. Um, why am I always doing that? <laughs> anyway, I haven't touched my hairline up so I'm going to do that. Uh, mirror. So I'm using my Joico Tint Shot Dark Brown. It's just like a spray. I like this one better than the Rita Hazan actually because Rita Hazan seems to splat everywhere and if you get it on your clothes guys it stains, it stains everywhere. This one doesn't seem to do that. I'll show you. I always like to touch my hairline up because of those sparse areas especially if you put your, your hair up in a bun or a pony like me you want it to look really tidy while well, I do anyway and here as well guys you know that's just natural your net well my natural hairline anyway but I do like to sometimes tidy that up I'm not being too fussy today but I just want to show you guys how you can do this really quick it's awesome and this Joico spray too, guys, is great. It doesn't splatter everywhere. Um, like I said, the Rita Hazan one, you would constantly just getting splatter marks all over your face and everything like that. And it really sucked after you did foundation. And this doesn't do it. So you don't even really need to go like this. Only if you're getting really close up. Really great for greys, everything. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Do you still want to have some hair showing, eh, guys? <laughs> you don't want to look like you're wearing a hat, which I think I do today, but it's all good. Anyway, I've got some other new products as well, guys, which I wanted to test out with you. Um, I've got a new sunscreen besides my beautiful, beautiful tinted uh, Alta MD skincare sunscreen which I've been absolutely absolutely loving now I just got this one in it's the color science flex if anyone's heard of that it's supposed to like adjust your skin tone and give you more of a foundation kind of a look so I really want to test that out today it's SPF 50 um, I've seen some good reviews on YouTube about it so let's check it out so I got two different shades guys in this I got the tan color and I also got the medium one in case this tan one was too dark which is usually the case with me but it's good to have two shades of everything anyway guys because you know at the moment I'm quite fair um, I haven't been going in the sun or anything it's heading on to winter over here so let's give it a go I'm going to try the medium one first and then apparently you can mix the mix the two together so let's try it need quite a bit too guys so I'm just going to put the medium on and then I'm going to actually add in some of the tan as well. So I'll put a little bit of the tan in. Just like that. We'll see how we go. Just mix everything together. And apparently it's colour adjusting to your skin tone. So we will see about that. Wow, hmm, I like that. What do you guys think? Well, I'll be, you know, I'm shook. Put some on your eyelids. I like to put um, sunscreen on my eyelids as well. Wow, that was the perfect match. Just, you know, two stripes, I guess, of that, of the light one. And then a little bit, you know, a stripe of the dark. Look, it matches my neck perfectly. Now, I, hopefully it doesn't interfere with my skincare that I've put on this morning. I've got vitamin C on and a growth factor. So we will just see. I don't like rubbing in the sunscreens too much when I've got my serums on. I think that's a perfect match. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. A little bit sticky. I hope that it, it calms down a bit, you know, because I don't like having sticky, sticky products on. 
Well, that's really good. I mean, I am, I'm very impressed with this product, guys. Color Science Flex, very, you know, not ex not too expensive either. Yeah, check it out, guys. Color Science Flex. You can grab it off Amazon or anywhere, really. Um, yeah, really, really nice. I'm very impressed with the coverage. Yeah, guys, so I was going to use the Laura Gala Spackle, which is a beautiful tinted primer. It's gorgeous on the skin, guys. But it's mattifying. It reduces shine. I'm not sure if I should put that on. Yeah, it still feels a little bit tacky to me which I am not keen on, but I could handle it for this finish. This is a lovely finish, guys. We are going to use the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation anyway. I'll just use a little bit of this. I feel like I've got enough coverage, actually, for the day. I don't want to be, hmm, you know, too much, but this stuff is, honestly, it's really, really natural looking, so I'm going to give it a go. Let me find a little brush. I am going to use my Refer brush here, uh, my Refer 24. It's nice. I think you kind of need to have a bit of a stiffer brush, I guess. This is quite stiff and it's nice. It's usually it's my beautiful blush, contour brush. It's awesome. And the hairline. Wow, this is nice as well. It just tops off. It just tops it off. That's really, really nice. On the eyelids too, so that we can just, you know, start our makeup look. Yep, skin feels good. Still a little bit tacky from the um, sunscreen, but I'm sure that will calm down. We'll see at the end, eh? Anyway, let's jump into it. This is not going to be a very long video, guys. Um, I want to do the eye look now. So we're going to hit Laura's palette. She didn't have many, you know, pan palettes like this. Most of her palettes were, you know, the marbled, little marble ones. And let's start. I'm just going to use my beautiful Morphe E22 brush. I love this. Very light shades, guys. So, you know, I might go with something like this, I think. Now I'll go with this one here, the light brown, which is chai light brown one here. A nice easy casual look for daytime guys. Nothing crazy. Just put that light brown into your crease as a transition. Like that. That's nice. That's a nice browny light brown. Okay the next one um, just wipe your brush off. I've got to tell you. <laughs> Use whatever you like. So I'm going to go with this one here herbal switch to another fluffier brush actually because I'll, I'll just put that all over the lid. It's nice having a palette that's just very light and casual you know like this sometimes. I don't actually gravitate towards these ones especially the real pinky ones most of the time but I quite like that especially for today I'm not doing anything special. I'm going to grab that same brush that I put that chai one on and I'm going to get some more of that brown. The first colour that we put on, I'm going to put some more up here. And I'm also going to put some on the outer. Yeah, I do want to add a little shimmer. I want to test the shimmers out. I'm going to go with a nice shimmer. I'm going to go with Earl Grey, which is this one here. And it looks like a beautiful kind of grayish shimmer with a little bit of brown in it. So I'm just going to get my brush in there. I'm not going to wet it or anything. And I'm just going to put that. I'll put it in the inner actually. Because I like a bright inner. Oh that's really nice and subtle guys. Check that. That is really nice. I'm really impressed with that. I really like it. It's nothing too much, you know, I don't need, I haven't over blended, that was only three colours, two matte colours and a little shimmer on there and that's perfect, it's all I want today. I am actually going to do the bottom lash line, okay, because I am a bottom lash line girl and I do love doing my bottom lash line, I truly do. Let me just get a small brush and let's just get into something, we'll go for that chai one again, eh, the, you know. And very fast and that's it. 
that's all we're going to do guys that's absolutely perfect for daytime i love that i mean that's a good palette i am going to use this palette more guys i like it for these casual days it's really nice the shimmer is just really it's very sophisticated <laughs> i am going to use the new wayne goss blush palette this one is dusty rose like that guys and it's got a beautiful highlighter there but I want to use um, Laura Gallus highlighter and the other one I got off Wayne Goss was Desert Blossom that one there it's very apricotty very light nudie pink eh? so that's a beautiful blush there guys and that's a gorgeous highlighter Ooh! and we'll just put a little bit of color on this face eh? oh that's pretty you like that very apricotty and I do actually like to bring my blush up a little bit under my eyes lately and as Laura Geller says you must do it in a C shape <laughs> your blush so I'm trying to learn new techniques that's what she says Laura Geller put your blush in a C shape let's try her beautiful highlighters I am going to try this gorgeous one the French poodle French almond highlighter baked duo okay so these are very subtle guys and I'm just gonna swirl my brush into both of these colors oh a lot of kickback oh hmm I don't know how I feel about this color actually I mean it's gorgeous looks a little bit ashy on me but that's it there what do you think that's a bit too much too I love these Real Technique sponges guys I bought um, some Real Technique brushes and I am loving them I, I really think they're amazing let's just push that in actually just to lighten it up a little bit I've got this elf um, eyebrow pencil here instant lift brow pencil I've used it before it was quite nice so I'm going to use it again I've only used it once and I want to really try it I'm going to do a little bit of mascara guys and that would pretty much be it. I'm not going to wear any eyeliner or anything today because I'm chilly. But this is the City Beauty Beyond Mascara and I love this product. It is really, really good guys. The only thing I would say is that sometimes it can become clumpy and you just need to kind of wipe it. I mean you could see it on your blush, blush, <laughs> brush, okay. That was one swipe out of the container guys the bottle <laughs> so that's enough for me but I like this mascara I love it um, it's my new fave at the moment I always switch my mascaras up though so I'm wondering should we do this Laura Geller one or should we do the Clinique Black Honey I am a darky kind of person so so I'm going to try this viral Clinique Black Honey well it looks like a gloss I think balm and see what the rave is I swipe off my Vix I want to see what everyone's going on about eh Uh, is that it? <laughs> um, okay. What's so cool about it? Um, nice gloss. I don't know what the big uh, viral sensation is about this. Can anyone tell me? Hmm? I'm not very sure why everyone is going on about the Clinique Black Honey. I know it's an old product. Um, it is nice. I would wear that definitely on a casual day. But I can find a lot of glosses like this guys and, and balms. I mean, why this one? I like it though. It looks good for this look and I'm glad that I've tried it. So that is the Clinique Black Honey guys. I'm just wondering, is it going to change colour? Is there something that's going to happen? <laughs> just joking okay guys so that's our gorgeous look today i am finished i am ready what do you think of the products 
I wish that I had my blushes here to show you guys and the bronzers I know I bought some new ones some new uh, colors as well but I know that I have the blushes and some of the bronzers here somewhere in this room so I will definitely show you that in a future video but I am loving this um yes it's Yep, it's gone down a bit. I'm loving this Balance Brighton foundation. It's really, really nice. As you can see, I mean, I'm looking flawless. And I do actually love that highlight. This one, the French Poodle, French Armour one. It looks, just in my dark mirror when I'm looking at it, it looks kind of ashy. But it looks pretty nice on camera, so I'll check it out when I get out of here. But my ab oh oh can we try guys can we just try one of these beautiful highlighters okay i've got to test out one of these gelato swirls besides the gilded honey all right so we're going to go for this one here ballerina and i just want to show you guys how amazing these are okay because i'm in love with the gilded honey and i want to see what ballerina can do and i'm just going to go on it and I'll just put on up here. Oh my gosh, I'm glowing. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm just going to put a little bit of this ballerina one under my eyelid. <laughs> Now I said it's a very casual lot, but I want to test this out, okay? Eyelid. Eyebrow. <laughs> Not eyelid, guys. Eyebrow. That looks nice. Yes. Highlights. Her, her highlighters are definitely very subtle compared to obviously Glam Glow and everything and all my clay dose highlighters that I love but I do love absolutely love the Gilded Honey it's just a beautiful golden tone for my skin so that's our look today guys I hope you enjoyed it very very subtle very nice using um Laura Geller's beautiful baked and balanced foundation her beautiful highlighters what else do we use and her gorgeous palette here which is very very nice guys this palette just for casual wear it, it it's lovely you know especially for mature women as well you know they love it easy palette how many colors did i use two mattes and just a very nice soft shimmer the shimmers are very nice very soft and easy and very workable i love it just to create a very nice look like this and i am so impressed with this flex sunscreen guys you guys need to try it Flex Color Science sunscreen, okay? It's amazing. I would recommend to get the two shades though. I will try just using the medium one day and just seeing if that will do. But um, you know, it's good to have two shades anyway, guys, because you know you're more dark, obviously, in the summertime, and then at the moment I'm quite fair, so yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this guys and I am looking forward to my day. I want you guys to have a beautiful, beautiful weekend day and have a really great, great week ahead. And I will catch you up on my next video. Love you all guys. Mwah.